All right, so let's imagine that there's some aspiring chemistry student who tries to make, he puts a HCl and he uses methanol as his organic solvent. So he does CH3OH. And uh, if you want to draw the structure of that, of course, there's carbon attached to three hydrogens and OH. It's your smallest alcohol, wood alcohol. And what he wants to make, or she wants to make, is this. They want to chlorinate the most substituted position, because that's where the carbocation will be formed. And then you'll have added a, uh, let's just, to make it obvious, you'll have added the chlorine and the hydrogen right there. The hydrogen is implicit in all the other positions. I'm just showing you the one that was added. However, what actually happened was this. Why? Well, obviously, this OCH3 came from your solvent, uh, CH3OH. So this came from there, or, th or vice versa. So what happened? Well, um, let's go through our mechanism and try and figure out what happened. Now, remember that this double bond is going to come out grab that acidic proton and kick off that chlorine. So what is our intermediate? Well, we get a H right here, and where does our carbocation go? It goes here. But now we have uh, chloron ions in solution, chloride ion anions, but we also have methanol in solution. And what do we know about oxygen? Well, oxygen is a very negative, electronegative species, and it has two electron pairs that are able to do, or unbonded electron pairs that are able to do chemistry. So while chlorine could attack, because it also has unbo unbonded electron pairs, you got to remember that methanol is the solvent. Statistically speaking, there's magnitudes of, or m many times more methanol in solution than there is chlorine, because it is the solvent. You know, if you drop put some salt in water, there's still a lot more water than there is salt. So that those O uh, molecules, those unbonded electron pairs, are far more likely to attack the carbocation than the chlorine is, it's, uh, the chloride anion is, it's basic statistics. So what happens is that O attacks the carbocation and you get this product. Um, in between you'll have an oxonium species, this, this O will have a positive charge and ultimately that positive charge will be removed maybe by the chloride anion or by another equivalent of methanol and you'll go to the neutral species but uh, your end result will be this methoxy cyclo uh, hexane type compound. You could have the same issue if you tried to chlorinate in water. You start with cyclohexene and you think, oh, I'm going to chlorinate, and I just forgot, and I decided to use water as my solvent. Why not? What you want is, or what you were hoping for was this, but what you ended up with was this, for the same reason. You formed a carbocation, and just statistically speaking, there's much, much more H2O. There's much, much more than there is HCl, or I guess Cl. So the water attacks the carbocation in place of the of the Cl anion, and you get this uh, this uh, this cyclohexanol uh, product. So uh, next time we'll get into the redox reactions, uh, starting with what is it hydrogenation, dihydroxylation, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So see you guys then.